song play out in full. I will explain the importance of which song, but let me first explain this video. As you have noticed, it will be sort of different from the other videos, and yes, I am back. I, I was on summer vacation. Anyway, uh, yes, different from other videos. This still will be a rant, and it will be a domestic rant about domestic affairs. So if you're not interested in Balkans, politics, or something like that at all, might as well go to something more interesting. And let's start! As the title suggests, we will be talking about the changing of the past. Most of you probably, most of you, there's 20 of you. Yes, most of you, my future followers, probably don't know what I'm talking about. Let me explain. You see, here in Slovenia, we pride ourselves on our fight against fascism and the fact that we won World War II against Germany and the fact how we won it, with guerrilla warfare, with local people taking up arms against fascism. But you see, there's also a darker side to that story. Uh, another part of the population sided with the occupators. Occupiers, yes, with the occupying powers. And they lost the war. After the war, most of them were killed or some, or trialed and imprisoned. And now, what, 70 years later, okay, it started, it started earlier, it started in the 90s. The, the political right wants to change the history. They want to make it so, as if those collaborators, those quizlings, they actually helped us, they helped liberate Slovenia, even though that they were actually, in fact, an SS subdivision. One of the most cruel SS subdivisions in the area, in fact. You see, this is already happening in Serbia with the rehabilitation of Draže Mihailović, and in Croatia with the re rehabilitation of... Their war wartime leaders, terrible, terrible things, war crimes were committed during World War II. The independent state of Croatia, the Croatian puppet state, um, during this time, it was more efficient at killing Jews and Gypsies and Serbs in their area and per capita than Germany ever was in the entire span of the war. They were so efficient at their brutality. Anyway, what were they talking about? Yes. They are rehabilit 
rehabilitating these people in court. The state rehabilitates them. And the political right in Slovenia wants to do the same. They have been trying to do so for years and years now. We're not letting them. We're, we're fighting back, but the longer it goes on, the stronger the political right gets, and the stronger it gets the stri there. Um, the farther towards fashion fascism they strive. But I don't blame the right. Right, the right that's their thing. They want to be fascist. I blame the liberals. I blame the indifferent youth that has become overly liberalized. You see, liberalism, neoliberalism, always leads to fascism. And this is the this is a warning for the entire world, really. If you allow neoliberalism to grow and to fester, it will push you towards fascism. And it will be your nation's downfall. It always was my nation's downfall once. The Slovenian collaborators I mentioned earlier. In the beginning of the world there were many sorts of collaborators, but after the capitulation of Italy and Germany retaking all of its land, the Slovenian Home Guard was formed. Or in German it was called the Slovenische Landswehr. I'll put a link to the Wikipedia article in the description. These, these people were among the most brutal soldiers in the SS. They killed and maimed many villagers. And now, the right, empowered by the neoliberals, the people who just, just want to be left alone and just want to pursue their cra crazy economic politics, they don't care pe about people at all. They would even uh, accept a fascist president or fascist uh, government, as long as it uh, allows the free market to, um, to develop and so on. People, this is wrong. This is what costs nations their lives. This is the end of the world, as we know it. We already see the cracks forming all around us. Fascism already rules Ukraine by the help, by the direct military assistance of the neoliberal United States. And fascism is spreading. And the only way to stop it is to engage the young. One of the main problems is the indifference of youth. Where are the young that we hear about our, in our stories that went out and built entire cities voluntarily, without pay? Cities like Velenje, Nova Gorica, Titograd. These were our, our grandparents. These people cannot save us again. We need to save ourselves, people. And next time one of your friends starts talking about the injustice in the world, the current political climate, think about it. Don't just dismiss it as boring. Actually think about it and think about how it affects you, how it affects your future children or your existing children and your grandchildren and so on. What do you want to change? You can do it. There is enough people in the world who wants change. If they would only think about and realize what they actually want and go pursue that. Look, I don't even care if you disagree with me. Just think about where you stand on the political spectrum. Align yourself and fight for what you believe in. Don't be another one of those people completely indifferent, saying, well, I don't care, I don't vote, and so on. No, you must vote, and you must care. This is about you. There is no such thing as an apolitical individual. As Plato said, humans are zoon politikon. I probably butchered that. Anyway, a political animal.
politics is what guides our society. Do you really want to, your country to go completely to hell? Most of Europe is already there. It's a giant cesspool of human waste and raw sewage. Do you really want this to continue? Or do you f want things to go for the better? Do you want the digression of social values to continue? Or do you want for things to change for the better? Whew, got carried away a bit in that last segment. Anyway, the changing of history. So, these rightists I mentioned earlier, the so-called Slovenian Democratic Party and the and, uh, New Slovenia Party. These are real far-right parties. They don't define as far-right. Anyway, uh, they are pushing for the rehabilitation of treachery during World War II as heroism. For example, they, a few years back, they wanted to instate pensions for the surviving traitors. Uh, as they um, contributed to the liberation of Slovenia during World War II, according to them. They have even put in place monuments to the treachery they have committed, and to, the, to where lie the traitors of their motherland. But this, don't you think this is horrible? I mean, such people should be sent to jail not allowed to roam free. They betray their mother and they continue to do so. So let's just wrap this up. I don't have much more to rant about except that I'm angry with the current situation. So people, when the right starts trying to change your own history, do not allow them. Do not stand idly by. Raise your voice and say, this is what happened. We know these are the facts. Do not deceive us. Stand up and say it proudly. Your ancestors fought for your history. Be proud of it. Unless... Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Agree, disagree, whatever. Let me know in the comments, private matters, whatever. Uh, it is different format than my other videos. But hey, it's my YouTube channel, and it only has tw 20 subscribers. Two, two of these subscribers are actually me. So I can do whatever I want. Uh, share this video with your uh, par party comrades. Uh, share it with the world. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.